Hi, my name is Josh McLean. Welcome to the Airtime 2.1 release preview. I'm going to go over all the new features that we're going to be releasing in 2.1. Uh, the first is the ability to edit your playlist for a show that's already on in real time. So previously, once a show had started, you weren't able to edit the playlist. Now, as you can see, I can move tracks around down here like this. Or if I want, I can add tracks on. Now, one of the other cool things is that you can now uh, select more than one track at a time. So let's say I want to select these six tracks. I'm going to hold down Shift and click, and it's going to select all of them. Now I can just drag them on over and add them to the end of the show. Now you'll notice it filled up my show, but we have four minutes and eight seconds of uh, too much content. So this song in orange is going to get cut off at the end. So another one of the nice features is if you go to calendar now and you click edit show, you can change how long the, the show is. So let's say I want to add 10 minutes onto that show. It's going to end at 33. Let's have it end at 43. Let's go ahead and update that show. Change there. If we go back to now playing, we now have 5 minutes and 52 seconds of dead air. So if we wanted, we could add in uh, another song towards the end of that and we're getting closer. So that's the ability to edit uh, your playlist in real time now. Uh, the second new feature is actually the one I'm most excited about, but I'm not going to talk very much about it. Uh, it was in our uh, Airtime 2.1 sneak peek. I went into, into depth on that there, so I'm just going to uh, pass over it real quick. It's the ability to connect and do live broadcasting uh, via another program. So the way that works is you can set everything up in this new stream settings. You can see these input stream settings. Uh, when you have your own um, Airtime Pro installation, you'll notice that these master source connection URL and source source connection and URL are all set up. I'm just using a test instance right now, so it's not finished. Um, but you'd be able to get all your information in there. And the program that I use is called Mix, M-I-X-X-X. -X -X. And then you'd be able to connect to Airtime. And one of these lights would uh, turn on up here to show that someone was connected and you'd be able to flip the switch and you'd be on the air. Uh, the coolest part about all that is for the show source you can actually schedule when people are able to connect to it and what username and password they can use to connect. So this means if you have multiple DJs you can have them each have separate logins for your show source and let them log on to do their shows live um, just as soon as their uh, for their show slot so they won't be able to take over your station anytime they're not scheduled to broadcast. So we've also added some library usability improvements. I'll go ahead and show you those real quick. Uh, you can see we now have these bulk actions. So I have this new playlist open. I'm going to go ahead and select multiple tracks, click that button, and it's going to go ahead and add them to show. This will also allow you to select the page, deselect the page, or if you have some selected and you decide that you want to change your mind, you're able to deselect all of them. Now these are little things, but it makes building shows uh, a lot a lot easier. Uh, we've also added the date uploaded columns. You're able to sort your tracks by uh, what what things you've uploaded today or what you've uploaded oldest. We've also added um, some new stuff to the track preview. I'm going to go ahead and hit this one right here. Um, okay, and before you could hear the tracks, but you weren't able to zoom around on the tracks like this and just go to different spots. So that's new. It's another thing so you can um, better set your fades up and figure out exactly when you need stuff to fade out. For example, in this song, Silence starts around 114. So you just cut the back end of that off and have a smooth transition into your next track. There's um, a couple of changes that, well, one change in particular that's not going to affect our Airtime Pro customers, but uh, it's a little something for uh, those of you who have your own installation. Uh, Media Monitor can now support, uh, has supported for network and USB drives. So if you have, if you planned on using those, you can do that now. Um, a couple of extra interesting things. We added password reset in 2.1, so you can, you can set that up and it'll, uh, you'll be able to reset your own password if you lose it or forget it. Well, that wraps everything up. Uh, as I said, I'm Josh McLean. Uh, feel free to contact me. My email is josh.mclain, M-C-L-A-I-N, at sourcefabric.org. 
and uh, go ahead and check out our airtime sneak peek where I go into uh, the live stream rebroadcasting a lot more in depth. Thanks for watching and good luck with your broadcasting project.